what's up guys thanks for tuning into my channel so this is a reading for the sign of libra for the month the month of march so if you have libra anywhere in your chart you can apply this to where you have libra in your chart or um whoever you're watching for you can apply this to where they have libra in their chart as well so if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel hit the bell button so that you know when i post your videos and yeah follow me on instagram because i'm gonna start doing um readings on my channel like live readings and i do um sacral chakra meditations every monday now so yeah i feel like if you want to benefit from those if, or if you feel like you can benefit from those definitely follow my instagram follow my twitter because i um i usually post when i have um uploaded y'all's videos so yeah please do that all right so Please allow me to tap into the energy of Libra. Look at you, Queen of Swords. Okay. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, bet. So, first card out, we got the Seeker of Crystals. Guys, I'm just like, I just did my nails, so it's like, they want to act up. They really want to act up. And I'm just like not having it. Anyways, we got the Ten of Chalices. Okay. We have the Alchemy card. It's pretty cool. I don't know why I did my nails before I came on here. Like, I thought they would be dry by now. It said instant drying. It's not instantly drying. <sighs> like when I tell you, I already redid my gum. I already painted it. I already painted it. And then I had to repaint it. Anyways, Master of Crystals. Let me be careful. Six of Chalices. <laughs> Adaptive chalices. Seven of chalices. Three of chalices. Damn. Sage of chalices. Y'all got mad cup cards, bro. 
you guys got like how many cup cards one two three four five six out of a nine card reading okay so we're doing the beginning middle and end of the month so for the beginning of the month Mm, okay, so you got Seeker of Chalices, which is the page of um, page of Pentacles, the Ten of Chalices, which is the Ten of Cups, and the Alchemy card, which is Temperance. So, basically, this is telling you in the beginning of the month, it's like, it was like you needing to be patient with the stability and the spiritual and emotional abundance that is coming towards you. Alchemy. There's a change. Turning from lead to gold, right? You guys are going through a change. You guys, my nails bother me. But um, you guys are going through a change. Some of you guys might be going through a little bit of pressure at the beginning of the month. Um, but it's showing that a change is coming. It might be slow and it's come like it slow and when it's coming or like it's like that's what you're manifesting. You know what I'm saying? But it's like it's taken a while just because um, some of you guys need to like balance out your emotions, temper your emotions so that you can have this ten of cups. But it's like it's coming. It's here. You can see it. You can see it, right? It's here for you. It's like you can see into the future, looking into the crystal ball. I don't know why, but the song, like, from That's So Raven popped into my head. You can gaze into the future. That's what she's doing. She's gazing into the future. Some of y'all might actually, like, be doing stuff like this, like, watching tarot cards, or tarot cards, rushing tarot readings, or, like, you see signs and synchronicities and stuff, like, showing you that something is on its way but it's like calling for you to be a bit patient like you still need to be um you're still like incubating basically you're still in the incubation phase in the beginning of the month right but hey it's okay middle of the month You got the Master of Crystals, which is the King of Pentacles. The Six of Chalices, which is the Six of Cups. And the Adept of Chalices, which is the um, the Knight of Cups. So, Master of Crystals. So, what I'm getting from this is that there is something or someone, right? I'm so pissed off right now. This nail. I'm so sorry, guys. I keep talking about this damn nail. But it's acting the fuck up. Anyways, there's something or someone that's coming towards you, right? And it's like somebody from your past. Somebody that you love very dearly. Or somebody that you will have great love for. Let me show you. Like, they're bringing you something. They're on their way to you. And that's why you guys needed to wait a little while. Because you were in the incubation phase. They were probably in the incubation phase. But, like, we have two cup cards here, right? This is somebody that's mature. Somebody that knows what they want. Somebody, you know, they might have their own business. Or, you know, they have a job, but they're self-sufficient. Um, you could also be self-sufficient as well. But it's like, there's love here. 
Like, it's like you guys have always loved each other or your souls have always known each other. Excuse me, so there has always been that love there, even before you knew them. It's like you always wanted this person. That's what you were creating in this, like, little crystal ball. You knew that you could always have somebody like this. You knew it. But there was just some alchemy that had to take place. You had to temper your emotions a bit. Um, <clears throat> so that your energies could manifest this person into your life when this person or this thing it could be a person or a thing when it was supposed to come so they're coming they're coming on this wave of emotion it's like and you're going to feel this wave of emotion from them and you're going to feel waves of emotion for them and it's going to be so like beautiful like look how they're embracing each other it's just like it's like a brother and sister type of love that you guys might even have for each other. Like you guys will really, really care for each other. I really don't know why, but I'm all honestly feeling like it's love for you guys. But yeah, like you guys, it's like you guys have manifested somebody or something that I really feel like is somebody. <laughs> um from your past somebody from a past life or it could be from this life you know or someone that you've dreamt of like as a child is also what i'm getting and that dream it's like that dream is coming true it's very interesting so at the end of the month you literally have all three cup cards here so you have the Seven of Cups, the Three of Cups, and the Queen of Cups. These cards are so freaking gorgeous, guys. Like, let me just take a minute to appreciate all this water that you air signs have. And I'm an air sign too. I'm a Libra as well. So it's like, trust me, I've been feeling some feelings, okay? So... Like I said, Seven of Cups, Three of Cups, Queen of Cups. So you guys might actually have a lot of options. This is also Venus and Scorpio. So yeah, you guys um might be feeling very strongly about somebody or something. You could be seeing everything that you guys could be. Like in these cups, there are so many things. There's like, there's money, there's a snake, which I see as like Kundalini rising, which is like gaining knowledge. There's a castle, riches, books. I, th I think I see two fishes. There are two lovers up in this cup. Like, there's a lot. There's a lot going on here. And with the three of cups, it's like celebration. It's like excitement. It's like, oh my gosh, like I'm so excited to actually you know start my journey with this person and so with the queen of cups it's like dang it's like um oh, also i thought we had the king and queen of cups we have the queen of cups king of pentacles so i'm saying this as you guys for some reason but this is how you guys feel you guys feel so happy you feel abundant in emotion you feel you feel like like this is also intuition so i feel like a lot of you know that you guys have manifested this person into your life um oh my gosh sorry guys my hips cannot stay like that on this bed for too long but anyways yeah it's like it's just beautiful i really love this there's like celebration you guys are so happy it's like your cup this lady's cup is literally overflowing it's like this is everything that you wanted and more like everything that you could have asked for but like in a better package it's like and if you guys did have a lot of options it's like this is somebody that has all the options that you were looking for in other people in one person which is pretty cool. I don't know why I'm getting that, but that's what I'm getting. Like, this is somebody that 
they have everything they have everything and your emotion is just like overflowing you're just like oh my gosh yes it's like you can finally do what you want to do or like plan the things that you want to plan like and with the king of pentacles right this is somebody that is stable and sturdy and that's exactly what you guys have been wanting it's like you guys literally manifested the person that you've been wanting since childhood wow since childhood oh my god guys oh my god okay let's let's go into some advice cards we have voodoo in blue card 22 <laughs> back off wow lady with the bosch egg ancient wisdom winged seer you see clearly clairvoyance wow wow okay so let's start with card number 12 because you know i go numerically in order like that winged seer you see clearly clairvoyance hmm okay so this is card number 12 reduces down to three your clairvoyant ability is being enhanced by the winged seer you may be able to tune in and remote view, almost be able to see. Sorry, the way that you may be able to tune in and remote view, almost be able to see behind doors when interviews, I mean, and in into rooms and receive images that let you know that someone is what someone is doing without you actually being there at the time. And all of these experiences will either empower or scare you. You've been you have asked for more information, asked to discover what you need to know. Now that the information has come to you, you must be courageous and take action based on what you cannot logically explain. It's important now more than ever to be honest about what you can see, but most of all to be honest with your own self. So it's like, for some of you guys, you guys see that you guys literally manifested this person um, some of you guys have seen signs and synchronicities that, oh, like, I'm coming into union. Oh, um, a lover is coming, da-da-da, stuff like that, you know? And you're like, oh, like, I'm single. Some of you guys might be just meeting somebody. And you're going to realize that the person that you've, like, been wishing and hoping and dreaming for has manifested okay so voodoo and blue back off you need someone to back right off and give you space you're not liking them you're not welcoming them and you need to be very clear and straight about that despite all your desires to be a loving and lovely person detached from whatever it is that's giving you so much well grief by asking whatever or whoever it is that's irritating you draining you or pushing your buttons to leave you be for the moment. Be respectful and kind, get cool at first. But if good intentions are mistaken for a new invitation, be very clear and say away. Stop being so nice that you send very mixed messages. It's banishing time. So if there's anyone or any energy that you feel like just doesn't compliment your own, um, it's basically saying for you to be real and tell them that you're not with it. Okay, lady with a Bosch egg, ancient wisdom. Yeah. Okay. It may feel to you that you're receiving wisdom from ancient sources and that some of its energy may feel unfamiliar to you, even dark. It's likely that you're receiving messages from times when people like you, misfits and mystics, were oppressed and punished for their natural gifts. 
explore this term, something to do with the Renaissance or medieval times or ancient Egypt. Um, and understand that the knowledge was brought through to you, a very fortunate being living in a very fortunate time. Keep it safe. Learn all that you can. Explore esoteric, esoteric symbology. The history of magic and spirituality. Know now that while you're safe, you may wish to keep silent about certain practices. So what I'm seeing is, is talking about you diving more into spirituality, more into obviously esoteric knowledge, more into if you're not like really in, if you don't have enough knowledge about like soulmates or like past lives to look into stuff like that um maybe even get a past life regression who knows but yeah guys that's what i got for y'all i love you guys so much and i'll talk to you later